Hey everyone, Sam again, and this time we're going to show you the camera application because obviously it's one of the big features of the Galaxy Nexus. So, obviously, there's the camera itself, so we'll go into the phone. So, here's the camera application. So, I've got it in the front face of the camera at the moment so you can see me. Hello! So, we'll put it to the uh, obviously on there, and it does look a bit yellow, which I've um, I which I'll address in a, in a future video once I've seen what the quality is like. But for now, I was here to see what the actual camera application is like. So then, um, it's pretty much standard affair, like most camera applications. Obviously, you've got your shoot button there. You've got your previous uh, pictures at the top. You can go from your front to your back. Obviously, it just goes back and forth. You've got your zoom here. Um, at the bottom here is where you got your settings, which is a very, very nice uh, kind of swish and flush animation is this one. But it's going to look like this for now, so... So then, obviously you've got your automatic flash, on or off, auto white balance, you know, indensing, um, incandescent even, indensing, where did I get that from? Uh, daylight, fluorescent and cloudy. You've then got your exposure, which obviously you can put up and down. You've got your scenery, you can have auto action, night, sunset and party. Get this bad boy, and you get these two as well. You can use style location, and obviously for five megapixels. Or the other ones that you can choose is three, two, 1.3 VGA, QVGA. But we're here to see five, so that's what we're going to say. So I say that's all you get in terms of the camera. So that one's there. And then at the bottom here, you can click, and you get your camera, your video, and your panorama. Also, right, we'll go to the video, and we'll just show you what you do get. So then, on this one again, you can go from uh, front to back, where you click the little top, goes from front to back, and as you can see there, the camera quality, which hopefully is coming off on camera there, looks absolutely fantastic. Um, I believe it's actually um, a 1.3 megapixel camera, um, I think I said 2 megapixel, but when you actually go into the settings for the camera itself, which I'll show you in a moment, I'm just going to do the video on the on the uh, back face somewhere for the time being, uh, obviously you can have your flash on or off, auto white balance, all the same stuff, and this is a pretty cool one, you can do silly faces, so uh, we'll uh, see if we can do one on me really now, obviously it won't make much of a difference because I've already got a silly face as is, so we'll try big eyes, and we'll bring it to the front face in one, and we'll see if we can get it on there. It gives me big eyes. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's pretty cool. It's nice to, have, nice to have, have those little features in there. So obviously you can have that. We'll just go back to um, clear effects. You can have your time lapse interval. So you can have one second. So if you want to do it like, you know, every one second, every one and a half seconds, up to 10 seconds. Cool. Obviously you've got HD, 1080, 720, you've got SD at 480. And then you've got still location as well. And we'll go back to the camera um, and then we'll show you what the front facing camera has to offer now. So in terms of the front facing camera, obviously you've got your auto white balancing, you've got your exposure, scenery. And as you see there, 1.3 megapixels, so I do apologise. Sorry about that. So I do apologise, I said one point, um, I said 2 meg megapixels, it's actually 1.3. I've seen guys on VGA and QVGA. But something very interesting, which um, I've not seen anybody really report this. It may be out there, probably is out there. Um, but with the front-facing camera, you can do HD, 720. So I've just done a quick video. So if you want to go check that one out, uh, I'm going to upload that to my, uh, on my vlog channel. So I'll put an annotation on the screen if you want to go check out the quality of the front-facing camera in 720. Which, you know, I'm, I'm very impressed. Um, it actually does, you know... You know HD for the front facing camera. So it's only 1.3 megapixel, but then again, obviously it's only you know it needs 0.7 megapixel to make a full 720p. So it's got the uh, resolution. It does it well. You need to do. Um, and before I keep rambling on, because obviously I'm gonna probably go on and on and on. Here's a panoramic mode, and obviously you can only do this one with the uh, back facing camera. You can't do it with the front facing camera. And we'll just do a really quick one for you now, and we'll just kind of. Um, Sure, it's about there's no settings for this one, unfortunately, it's just as it comes. So, we'll do a quick one and I'll uh, come right back to you. Two seconds, right? So, I've done the panorama shot. Um, I went a little bit too fast, it told me as they were going through it, but it's just uh, saving at the moment. So, uh, well, I'll just wait for this one to come back on and we'll give you a quick look at what it looks like. Um, as you can see there, just, just looking at the actual phone itself, which while I'm here, as you can, you can see the screen there, but when you're looking at it like that, you can't see where the screen is. It's pretty weird, but it looks great. 
it's like it's just one piece of a uh, kind of you know one slate. So as you can see here, here it is. And I must say, did a pretty decent job. Oh, there's a little bit of jagged air, you know, just there, like on the Apple logo. But, you know, I think it's around here. It says you're going too fast. So, as yeah, you can probably see it just there. Just cut off a little bit. So, if you do it nice and slow, oh, look, I need to clean up. So, if you do it nice and slow, obviously it's going to work better. Uh, that's just a quick test, obviously, just for this video here today. So yeah, um, all you know, all in all, so far, um, I'm very impressed. So you can see me on the the camera there, uh, and the the clarity of the screen with the camera, especially this front facing camera. I'm really really impressed by this front facing camera, which is going to make it a lot easier if I start doing uh, more videos on it. If I do start, I'll be able to do uploads on this, you know, 720 upload straight away, you know, for my vlog channel and whatnot. So anyway, any questions you know what to do? Hit me up down below, and I shall see you in my next video. Cheers, everyone.